When COVID-19 was first announced, many jokingly made statements about how the world would experience a COVID-related baby boom due to lockdown restrictions and social isolation taking effect. These restrictions would place significant others in close proximity, and it was thought that the number of pregnancies would skyrocket as a result. However, the reality of the pandemic may not be as it seems. With the population facing the impacts of on and off lockdowns, pregnant women especially are at an extremely high risk of experiencing increased difficulties during these times. These burdens brought on by the widespread effects of this pandemic have been shown to hinder and affect the amount of successful births due to higher occurrence rates of decreasing mental health in pregnant women when compared to men. All these variables suggest. Before the pandemic, pregnancies were traditionally more social events where family and friends would gather together on multiple occasions such as appointments, baby showers, gender reveals, and the birth of the child. Even medical processes and appointments were more personalized where the mother would have the opportunity to be in contact with her healthcare provider whenever issues would arise. However, in light of the pandemic, expecting mothers are having a far less social and personal experience. Gatherings relating to the unborn child are now done virtually to limit the potential exposure to the COVID-19 virus. Furthermore, medical processes and appointments are limited as healthcare practitioners need to follow strict guidelines to limit the amount of patients coming into contact with one another. This often forces mothers to have to go through these important steps alone, and these medical appointments now feel cold and distant, with many mothers never seeing their healthcare providers full face. Overall, throughout the pandemic, the burdens of pregnancy paired with the side effects of how the pandemic and its outbreaks have been managed have only created a more isolative and stressful environment that would only be detrimental to one's mental health. Evidence of these taxing effects were found from the survey results of antenatal women who reported a lack of participating in physical activity due to lack of motivation, the need for additional child support due to lack of familial support, behavioral changes leading to a more sedentary and isolated lifestyle, financial insecurities and gender inequalities, and increased concerns for the physical health and well-being of family, children, and themselves, which were all found to be worsened for women at lower socioeconomic statuses. Many of the surveyed women were single, lacking a partner or family members to assist in supporting them, had job insecurities brought on by the pandemic, and had to deal with the burdens of pregnancy through social isolation. All these factors have a hand in the worsening of mental health, bringing on a higher degree of stress and anxiety along with the already existing burdens of pregnancy. A study examined the evidence of affected mental health using two different tests with 900 pregnant women. Using the State Trait Anxiety Inventory Test, 29% of women scored a 40 or higher in response to their lives pre-pandemic, with a huge jump to 72% in response to their lives during the pandemic, indicating a significant increase in clinical symptoms of anxiety. Using the Edinburgh Postnatal Depression Scale, 15% scored a score of 13 or over in response to their pre-pandemic lives, compared to 40.7% during the pandemic, indicating a highly significant increase in depressive symptoms. Throughout the pandemic, support has been minimized to limited contact with healthcare providers, the use of virtual meeting platforms to address concerns, and online support groups. For those who faced complications during their pregnancy, Prompt virtual contact between physicians and therapists appeared to be beneficial. However, when surveyed, 11 out of 14 individuals said in one way or another that the available support hadn't been enough, impacting their decisions and mental health. Furthermore, research shows that women not receiving antenatal care pre-pandemic was only 4% and has increased to over 59% throughout the pandemic, demonstrating a significant disruption to these services. The lack of available care has had detrimental impacts on pregnant women. The increased levels of stress, anxiety, and depression women have felt as a cause of these burdens has only worsened their well-being, as well as the well-being of their unborn child throughout their pregnancies. Studies have shown that in relation to a decrease in mental health, the lack of care has caused decreases in the mean number of weekly births, increases in institutional stillbirth rates, increases in neonatal mortality, and decreases in postpartum care where fetal heart monitoring, skin-to-skin -skin practice, and immediate breastfeeding have declined. Research is continuing to evaluate the prolonged effects of COVID-19 on the mental health of postpartum women and the well-being of their children. This evidence suggests that maternal mental health affects not only their overall health and functioning, but also the physical, 
cognitive, and psychological development of their children. This concept, otherwise known as the Developmental Origins of Health and Disease, or DOHAD hypothesis, explains that exposure to certain environmental influences during critical periods of a fetus's development and growth can have significant impacts on its health. In this case, being exposed to poor uterine environments brought on due to increases in stress-related and poor mental health hormonal perturbations may cause the fetus to develop adaptations that may affect its ability to survive. Further studies have shown that mothers experiencing decreases in mental health may be at higher risk of mental health morbidity post-birth. Another study found that extreme stress, emergency, and conflict situations were significant cause for decreases in mental health and that experiencing this psychological stress placed these mothers at higher risk of experiencing miscarriage and or the onset of severe diseases. This doesn't have to be the case. There are things women can do to help increase their mental well-being during and post-pregnancy. Mothers, for example, can try to lead a more active and mindful lifestyle, taking some time out of their day to exercise and focus on their well-being. Mothers can take supplements, such as vitamins B6, B12, and D, to assist in increasing one's energy levels and motivation. Mothers can make changes to their dietary regimes, such as eating more fruits and vegetables to up their intake of vitamins and minerals. Mothers can join existing online support groups designed for new and expecting mothers to help ease the burdens felt through pregnancy and shortly after. One such program is called the Mother's Program and offers available support resources, such as information, podcasts, and additional resources for women in all stages of pregnancy Despite some resources existing, there is still a need for additional support to help combat the hurdles of pregnancy and mental health. Such things would include increasing available therapy, opening additional clinics catered towards new and expecting mothers, and increasing COVID testing and vaccine priority for these individuals to lessen the burdens of physical health concerns for their children, friends, and family members. For additional support and available resources, please follow the links provided in the description below.